What inspired you to choose stand-up comedy over music and live performance? You know, music is you know one of my big passions. You know, but it is also like you know when you're any job, it you know turns into a little bit of a chore, and you know you're you're married to three other people, and you know. We were in a band for you know like seven years, and eventually it felt like oh, we should be having either more fun doing this or more success doing this. <laughs> One of those two should be happening. And uh, and when I moved to New York, uh, you know I'd always been a fan of comedy, and you know had it in the back of my mind that it was something I kind of like to try. You know I, I would go to comedy shows when I first moved to New York, and it felt more rock and roll to me than the rock and roll scene in New York. I actually took a comedy class, uh, nice. which is you know. Uh, vaguely silly, but also, you know, at least it's a supportive group when you're first starting out. I felt like I was better than everyone else in the class, yeah. and so that encouraged me to, like, kind of keep doing it, and I fell in with a couple other people. I actually got pretty lucky in that I started to get stage time early on at, at some clubs in New York, which is, you know, a hard thing to do. A lot of people, you know, wait years to have that chance. Yeah. Um, and so that was, you know, a great entry for me to start figuring it out, and it's kind of addictive once you, once you get into it, you know, just the... You know, especially in the beginning for the, those first couple of years, you just the, the growth curve is just so intense at that time where